Welcome to Offer PH, Pearl of the Orient City Guide to Events, Food and Drinks, Culture, Movies, Technology Trends, Theatre, TV and Travel. Explore more than 7000 wonderful Paradise Island, experience and immerse to the Mahalakan culture of Yar. Kurijador Island locally called Pulo Ng Kurijador, is an island located at the entrance of Manila Bay in southwestern part of Luzon Island in the Philippines. Due to this location, Kurijador has historically been fortified with coastal artillery to defend the entrance of Manila Bay and Manila from attacks by enemy warships. Located 48 kilometers inland, Manila has been the largest city and the most important seaport in the Philippines for centuries from the colonial rule of Spain, Japan and the United States, to the establishment of the Philippines in 1946. Please subscribe in our YouTube channel and follow and like us on Facebook hashtag OfaPH. And visit our website at www.oforph.com for more travel guide and tips. Corregidor, Fort Mills, is the largest of the islands that formed the harbour defences of Manila Bay, together with El Frey Island, Fort Drum, Caballo Island, Fort Hughes, and Carabao Island, Fort Frank, which were all fortified during the American colonial period. The island was also the site of a small military airfield, as part of the defence. How to get there? Sun Cruises offers day trips and overnight packages. You can find the ferry terminal near the cultural center of the Philippines along Roxas Boulevard, Pass City. The ferry leaves Manila at 8 a.m. and arrives at Corregidor Island at 9.15 a.m. on a daily schedule except in unfavorable, stormy weather. During World War II, Corregidor played an important role during the invasion and liberation of the Philippines from Japanese forces. The island was heavily bombarded during the latter part of the war, and the ruins serve as a military memorial to American, Filipino and Japanese soldiers who served or lost their lives on the battlefield. Corregidor is one of the important historic and tourist sites in the country. Activities in Corregidor Island? One visit and check out the various ruins and batteries. These are the enduring and iconic images that comes to mind or what we remember of Corregidor Island, the different barracks ruins and batteries that dot the island. There's Mile Long Barracks, the Hospital, Middleside Barracks, the Soldiers Quarters, Sign Corregidor and many more, with even some found inside the forest or covered with vegetation. The mortars are also found around the island like Bataway, a collection of big guns, battery grubs, battery hern where the biggest can be found and still many more are waiting for you to discover. These ruins and mortars makes for an interesting tour of Corregidor Island, be it as a guided tour or as something that you want to explore for yourself on foot or bike. Tumulan to Tunnel Light and Sound Show Perhaps the centerpiece of the tour, although it's optional and has a separate fee, at P200 as of this writing, it's an interesting light and sound show that specifically focuses on what happened inside this historic tunnel. Get to see footage, hear historic tracks and narrations. It's the quickest way to know and understand Corregidor especially during World War II. 3 Spanish Era Lighthouse one of the historic lighthouses built in the Spanish colonial era, this is one of the few structures that reminds of the history of the island during this period. The grounds is now a mini museum. The area is picturesque with two flanking buildings and a waypoint. At the farther end of the road, a flagpole that used to be a Spanish galleon's mast is booty by the Americans. Four monuments sculptures a museum and memorials. From the Eternal Flame of Freedom, Museum and Dome at the Pacific War Memorial, the Japanese Memorial Garden, the Filipino Heroes Memorial to different parks and gardens. Each of these gives you a quick picture of the events, 
the heroes, the victors and the vanquished who all made this island hallowed ground. 5 Do a walking tour of Corregidor. Old Manila walks have a walking tour on one section of Corregidor Island and it's named of bombs, big guns and lost gold. There are lots of stories and secrets for you to discover in this walking tour. When I had mine, Ivan Mandy was the guide and that just means you're in for a quite interesting walk. 6 What is the Jabida Massacre? Did you know that the problems besetting the Philippines on Muslim autonomy had its beginnings in Corregidor? The infamous Jabida Massacre was supposed to be a covert operation that recruited Muslims from Sulu and Toy Toy for a retake of Sabre back in the late 1960s. But word leaked out and the authorities tried to erase all trace of the operation and had the recruits killed. Except for one, who was able to escape, swim off to Cavite and lived to tell the tale. In one of the rooms of the Fort Miller Hospital, are graffitis that were made by these recruits. Note, the Jabida massacre is said to be a hoax cooked up by a Marcos enemy. Corregidor Island is not just about history but adventure and fun too. Clockwise from top right, Zipline, staying at a tent, bird watching and at Friday Corregidor Island is not just about history but adventure and fun too. Clockwise from top right, Zipline, staying at a tent, bird watching and at Friday. 7 Fun and Adventure. Have a great time sliding from the Cordillero into South Beach or rough it up via an ATV ride in marked and designated trails. If you want to know more about the avian population, embark on a bird-watching tour of the island. For a start, eagles start their thermal flying during sunrise and many can be seen while you wait for the sunrise at the tailside. 8 Hike, by or on a marathon round Corregidor. Get down from the tramvials and hit the road. More than about history, Corregidor is crisscrossed with hiking trails, tunnels and well-paved roads. Get to experience these on foot or on bike, it's another way to experience the island. Yearly, the Corregidor Marathon and the Corregidor International Half Marathon are held here. Glorious sunrise at the tail side of Corregidor, part of the tours only available for guests staying overnight. 9 Stay overnight in Corregidor and avail of the best and memorable tours of the island. There's more to Corregidor than just availing the day tour package. It's not enough to go there in the morning, tour, have lunch and back to Manila. Extend. Experience the best of Corregidor at night or early in the morning. The sunsets and sunrises are just awesome, the Japanese tunnel walk is interesting. And the best part of touring in Corregidor? Fort Mills Hospital ruins that can get creepy or the lateral tunnels tour. South Beach with its inviting sand and beach line is perfect for a dip with a stunning view. 10 Take a dip at the beach and try stone balancing. South Beach and Resort Beach are good for a swim, beach combing or stone balancing, especially the latter where round and smooth stones, including bloodstones of various sizes and colors abound. Each has scenic views of Caballo Island in the distance. Not your tipshing white sandy beach though but still perfect for a dip. If you have any comments or suggestion feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching, please subscribe in our YouTube channel and follow and like us on Facebook hashtag O4PH. For more travel guide and tips visit our site at www.o4ph.com. Do not forget to click the notification bell.